हेलो एवरीवन सो लेट्स सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो वी हैव टू फॉर्म पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन फ्रॉम एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड इक्वल्स टू फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर सो स्लाइट डिफरेंट अप्रोच एज कंपेयर टू वट वी हैव सॉल्व इन प्रीवियस फ्यू क्वेश्चन वेर वी हैव टू एलिमिनेट द आर्बिट्री फंक्शन सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वट इज डिफरेंट वट एवर इज इन साइड दिस Uh, we assume that to be some other variable so x square plus y square plus z square for some time let's that be theta okay now uh, one thing you have to keep in mind that because theta is a function of x y z so theta i'm just talking for the right hand side portion so theta is dependent because it is a function of x y z and x y z this 3 will be independent variables okay so you have to keep uh, this in mind for this question and in lhs if you see then uh, as per the convention of uh, partial differential equation z is always the dependent variable depending on x and y so x and y are the independent variables so this question can be reframed or rewritten when we substitute theta as uh, this as theta so and then this can be rewritten as x plus y plus z equals to f of theta now let's assume this as equation number 1 so now from now on we'll uh, do the same steps which we used to do uh, differentiate partially with respect to x obviously keeping y as constant so you will get derivative of x with respect to x 1 derivative of y with respect to x i told you keep y as constant so its uh, derivative is zero z because it's a dependent variable its derivative will be del z by del x which has its special notation in this world of pd which is p equals to f dash theta into we have done derivative of function now whatever is inside that also we have to do derivative because uh, that is also a function of x y z so del z by del x now one thing that will need in this question uh, sorry del theta by del x extremely sorry now uh, let's find the values of del theta by del x del theta by del y for this uh, question so del theta by del x will be 2x and del theta by del y will be 2y because when doing uh, differentiation with respect to x y and z will be treated as constant and when doing that same with respect to y x and z will be treated as constant we don't need del theta by del z because we are not going to perform partial differential uh, partial differentiation with respect to z so that's it uh, so 1 plus this as we all know is p equals to f dash now we can put the value of uh, theta that is uh, x square plus y square plus z square and del theta by del x was 2x okay so this is your first e second equation now again differentiate partially with respect to y obviously keeping x as a constant so if you do so uh here if you differentiate x with respect to y because x is constant so its derivative will be zero then we have derivative of y with respect to y that will going to give you one you can write that as del y by uh, del y you can write this as del x by del y but and in the end you know that del x by del y is zero because x is treated as constant and del y by del y is one okay obviously now uh, del z by del y is going to be your third term which we will uh, in next step uh, write as q 
and uh, if we move to the RHS it will again be f dash theta and because theta is again a function of x y z so del theta by del y now del theta by del y is your 2y so 1 plus q equals to f dash what is your theta it is x square plus y square plus z square and del theta by del y is your 2y so let this be equation number 3 now if you look at equation number 2 and 3 we can easily remove this uh, f dash x square plus y square plus z square what you need to do just divide so 1 plus p divided by 1 plus q equals to f dash x square plus y square plus z square into 2x from equation number 2 and f dash x square plus y square plus z square into 2y from equation number 3 uh, this gets cancelled obviously 2 gets cancelled so 1 plus p divided by 1 plus q equals to x y y as we'll do slight uh, more simplification just cross multiply so you will get y plus p y equals to x plus uh, q x some more uh, uh, simplification so that we get a particular format so if you want to write uh, if you take uh, this term to the LHS and this y to the RHS you will get uh, py minus qx equals to x minus y now this is your uh, final answer this uh, you can get as a question in uh, upcoming uh, uh, chapters uh, uh, in this chapter only while solving the partial differential equation you can get this as a question whose answer will obviously come like this and uh, this is normally of the form pp plus qq equals to r where p q and r are functions of x and y okay. so i hope you understood this question slight different approach while assuming x square plus y square plus z square uh, as theta because that uh, helps us in order to avoid uh, confusion while solving this uh, because of some dependent and independent variable rest everything was uh, similar to what we are doing till now i hope you understood it thanks and have a very nice day uh, just simple methods uh, that we used in this particular question thanks again just to make uh, one correction uh, in this uh, equation which is of the lagrange's format your small p is del z by del x as always small q is your del z by del y okay and uh, this p q r are functions of x y and z so i can write functions of x y and z okay so if you want you can write this as small p because this was del z by del x small q and uh, are this uh, three p and q are functions uh, uh, are del z by del x and del z by del y and the other p q and r which you can see in capital letters here are functions of x y and z so uh, slight change otherwise it was a simple question